Good morning, dear friends. Welcome to Double Knowledge Channel. I am Dr. Regina Blinas, Associate Professor of Electrical Department at Sanjay Goda University, Kolapu. In the last couple of lectures, we have learned about uh, what are the region of uh, changes in wind velocity uh, below cutting speed one region, within cutting speed to be rated one region, then we cut in rated, rated wind speed to a cutout wind speed another region then final region is above the cutout wind speed so during the normal time we usually we used to say from below cutting wind speed we will make pitch angle is equal to 90 degree similarly above cutout speed we will make pitch angle is equal to 90 degree then in between we rated to be cutout to wind speed we will adjust this pitch angle from 0 degree to some 30 40 degree then finally we will make this uh, wind turbine to halt it should be in half condition. So this is what we have done. So in the last lecture, we have learned about uh, what is the characteristic curve of wind turbine when the wind velocity is between V cutting and rated wind velocity, uh, rated speed. So now uh, the, we came to know that the curve is like a parabola and uh, it is like a V-shaped curve. And we, uh, we know that what are the optimum points where this speed generator speed should be to extract the maximum power. The concept of implementing this uh, different this thing is called as maximum power point tracking algorithm. So I already told you what how to do that, what is a tip speed ratio. What is the relation between tip speed ratio and uh, generator speed and pitch angle control and what is the efficiency of uh, wind turbine and what is the variation of CP with respect to lambda and omega. So before going to this next lecture, I request the audience please subscribe this channel and press the bell button also so that forthcoming lectures you can easily trace out and uh, find out easily. Let me share my uh, presentation. What the <coughs> what I am going to share today. So I hope you can see the screen. So this is now what we have the wind turbine the characteristics we have formed at an angle beta, beta pitch angle is equal to zero degree. Now uh, we cut in speed, how we have to specify, I will let you know. Then this is the V rated is, I have chosen here is 12 meter per second, V rated wind velocity. So now this is the 12 meter per second, we are getting rated power in per unit and the rated speed in per unit. So now we know that the rated power is equal to uh, 20 kilowatts, rated power is equal to 20 kilowatts, then rated speed is 211 RPM that can be converted into 22 RPS, 211 and it can be converted into 22 RPS, okay. Now, so now this case, this is the rated speed. So rated speed is here, the rated speed one per unit. The one per unit is 22 RPS, this is 22 RPS. Whenever the generator speed reaches 22 RPS at 11 meter per second, we will get this maximum power of uh, 20 kilowatts. We will get the maximum power of 20 kilowatts. So if we come down again here, uh, somewhere here, this 11 kilowatts, the 11 kilowatt, I'm uh, sorry, 11 meter per second. In the 11 meter per second, your optimum speed will be here, more or less how much 11 meter per second? 20 RPS, 20 RPS. The power at which this maximum power is uh, normally, power in this region is, uh, approximately 20 uh, this 15 kilowatts so this is your 15 kilowatts so like that i have written all the wind velocity still one meter per second then again next speed will be here i hope you understand what i am saying so the next will be like this so that each power in not in per unit just i have done everything in the kilowatts so all the powers will be calculated so now more more most of the time wind turbine is the huge area it will be there and the hex will be high weight will be more so initially we have to run the wind turbine uh, it is uh, for wind, uh, running the wind turbine itself it will need more power so for that due to that most probably people will set this this region uh, let me take another one color people will choose this region as not useful 
2.5 to 3 meter per second not useful why not useful this power may be it is this 92 watts 1 kilowatts and 0.3 kilo 1 watts and 0.3 kilowatt may not be sufficient to extract the power from the wind turbine maybe this time wind turbine it will act as a motor so that it will draw the power from the grid so the practical applications what they will do they will isolate the wind turbine from the power grid till this cut in wind speed so now cut in wind speed you can make it as 3 meter per second uh, normally practically 2.5 to 3 meter per second so that uh, this is our cut in wind speed uh, below which the cut in wind speed we will make the wind turbine 90 degrees the reason is power production is very less 0.3 moreover this power production uh, it will not, we cannot feed to the power grid also sometimes it will act as a motor so it will draw the power from grid but so that they will isolate it and what they will do to overcome the inertia they will allow the generator to run uh, turbine to run at the time of cutting wind speed what they will cut in wind speed they will start to uh, they will start to generate the power that time they will connect this wind turbine with the grid so this is the practical applications people we are people are doing so now in this case we already we know uh, that already we know that lambda lambda is nothing but tip speed ratio lambda is nothing but tip speed ratio the lambda is equal to omega r divided by b then omega is nothing but generator speed this is generator or turbine speed both are coupled together in rps speed in rps then radius of the wind turbine the radius of the wind turbine i have given chosen as 4.4 meter then velocity for particular wind well, i already told you for particular if the velocity is constant radius also constant therefore lambda is directly proportional to omega lambda is directly proportional to omega so now these are all the optimum speed i have shown this uh, this 22 then 20 18 all are this optimum speeds optimum speed speed at which we are getting maximum power maximum power is called as optimum speed so optimum power is equal to maximum power but optimum speed is not maximum speed optimum speed is not the maximum speed so that this is what uh, 17 meter per radian per second everything all are this uh, optimum speed so now whenever omega omega is changed to omega optimum omega is changed to omega optimum lambda optimum is equal, directly proportional to omega optimum since omega is optimum automatically lambda will be optimum so normal cases lambda i have chosen here 8.1 lambda will be tip speed ratio optimum tip speed ratio is 8.1 so already we know radius so from this we can calculate omega optimum is equal to omega optimum equal to lambda optimum into divided by r into particular wind velocity whatever may be the wind velocity if we fix this lambda optimum already automatically omega will be omega will be omega optimum so this is the what we are going to finalize for tip speed ratio control and today in this case i am going to simulate this tip speed ratio control in this tip speed ratio well, lambda optimum already we fixed as 8.1 r is equal to radius is equal to uh, 4.4 meter velocity is equal to uh, whatever may be velocity varies from 12 to till cut in wind speed for uh, 3 meter per second so that what happen we are getting optimum speed if we are using this formula so now let me share let me explain it in this uh, matlab simulation what i have done here this is the wind velocity wind velocity input i have given to velocity to optimum speed calculation what is optimum speed calculation the same calculation which i have shown here 
is and the omega optimum already velocity is the input lambda optimum divided by r already I told you radius is equal to 4.4 lambda equal to 8.1 therefore i have given 8.1 divided by 4.4 then uh, we are connecting to uh, this uh, this rpm2 per unit and rps2 per unit conversion so this the output of this will be rps speed in rps i have connected to here the power calculation so let me check one by one what is the value of uh, for example if i am giving 12 meter per second to run this simulation we will have optimum speed is 22 and power is around 20 kilowatts 1.99 into 10 to the power uh, 4 20 kilowatts see this uh, figure 12.12 12 meter per second optimum speed is 22 we are getting 20 kilowatts then let me check with another value instead of 11 11 meter per 12, 11 meter per second if you run this simulation we have 20 rps generator speed optimum speed and output power will be 15 kilowatts 15 15 kilowatts see this uh, see this waveform uh, here optimum 11 meter per second 20 rps and 15 kilo so then let me check with 10 meter per second so optimum speed is 18 0.4 means 18 i have round off all those things 18 and the power will be 11 meter 11 kilowatts so that so that we have uh, 18 and 11.8 not 11 11.5 point, uh, yeah, 11.5 approximately 10 kilowatts like that final values i have just i am verifying for wind velocity is 4 meter per second in this 4 meter per second uh, we have 737 watts uh, 7 rps 7 rps let me check uh, 7 rps and 0.7 kilowatts so 7 7 points uh, 737 watts means 0.7 kilowatts so this way we have to do this optimum uh, tip speed ratio control this is the way of concept of uh, tip speed ratio control with this i would like to conclude this today's uh, presentation in the forthcoming lecture i am going to uh, explain different control strategies of wind energy conversion system how we can implement this uh, lookup table method everything we can do it i hope this channel is very helpful to you for improving this knowledge wish you all the best thank you